Hello, hello, welcome. You guys hear my music? Oh, hi, Tony. Hello. So good to see you all. minutes. Maybe some other people will join. Happy Friday, everyone. I hope you have some amazing things coming out for the weekend. I'm very excited about the weekend. I'm actually going to be going on vacation. So it's a little bit stressful today as I'm trying to wrap everything up for work and I haven't packed yet. But later to that. So let's get started. Um, so today's flow will be a five minute session to improve your posture. So we'll do some, my, some of my favorite poses that will lengthen your, the muscles of your chest and will help you open up through your shoulders. And we'll finish off with a little bit of a gratitude meditation. It's November, it's Thanksgiving month, so I think it's important to think about some of the things you're grateful for. All right, so let's get started. Top of the mat, if you have a mat, if you don't, this is fine. Uh, this will actually be fine on the nice, if you have some soft rug or a blanket, that should work. All right, starting standing, feet about hip width apart. Bring your hands together behind your back and clasp your hands. Shoulder blades together and push your chest open. Maybe keep your elbows bent at first. And as you get a little warmer, start straightening them. Pushing your knuckles down. Knuckles or... <laughs> and open up more through your chest. Bring your belly in. So core is engaged and squeeze your glutes together, engage your inner thighs. Take a nice deep breath in, <sighs> sigh it out. One more time, nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, fold over your legs, bend your knees generously and bring the knuckles over your head as much as you can. This may feel a little weird, and try to keep your wrists as close as possible here. This is a great lengthening, um, I guess, shoulder mobility exercise. Perfect if you're sitting around it for a long time, as we all do. And release your hands down. This feels good. Plant your hands and step to the back of your mat into a plank pose. We're not gonna hold it for a very long time, so just a short plank. And all I want you to do in this plank, just engage your core, so belly and ribs in. And don't forget to breathe. So just a couple of breaths here. And as you feel your heart rate going up, take even slower, calmer breaths. So on the next exhale, shift forward so you're on the very tips of your toes and start, you may put your knees down or just start lowering down. So you're all the way on your mat, on your belly. Bring your hands next to your chest, so kind of like underneath your armpits <laughs> and rotate your uh, hands a little bit out. It will give you a lot more space in your shoulders. Inhale, peel your chest open just to low cobra. Squeeze your glutes. Bring your shoulder blades together and down your back. So try to not move your shoulders up. They're down away from your ears. Open up a little more and exhale, lower down. Take a slow inhale in. Side out, bring your hands now back and peel your chest 
open once more, but your hands are off the floor and they're back. If may feel a little easier if you bring them like this, like in a T shape. So see what feels better and hold this. Squeeze your legs, squeeze your glutes, but feet stay on the floor. And exhale, bring your forehead to the mat. Now we're gonna just lift our legs. So engaging your glutes and squeezing your inner thighs together. Lift your feet. It doesn't have to be high, just as high as it feels comfortable. Well, you're still feeling your glutes and the muscles of the back of your legs engaging. Hold this. And exhale, release down. Now, we're going to lift both um, your hands, so your upper body, your chest is up, and your legs. So on the next, inhale. Everything's up. It's not easy. Think about lengthening, getting a little bit higher, squeezing your glutes a little more to bring your legs a little higher. Maybe peel your chest open, engage your core. Stay here for another couple of breaths or bring your hands. And I, I'm hearing cracks in my body. Bring your hands together, clasp them behind your back, shoulders away from your ears and holding these for five, four, maybe you can get a little higher, three, two, and one release. <sighs> Sigh it out. This is kind of like the last effort. Upward facing dog. So your hands again are next to your chest. Externally rotate them to open up your shoulders a little more. And on an in breath, pushing down with your feet. Feel your chest open and you can stay here or pushing down with the tops of your feet. Bring your hips and legs off the floor and open up through your chest. You should feel pretty open after all those back strengthening poses we just uh, held. And exhale, roll yourself up into downward facing dog. You may walk your hands a little further. Move your feet in this dog. Just enjoy the stretch and Whenever you're ready, bring your knees to the floor, your shins down. This is it, about five minutes of this very subtle movement, but I already feel a lot more open because I was driving this morning, and then I was working, I was working late last night, so I feel like you know I was very tight right here and kind of helps you to bring your heart open and Get a little bit taller, a little bit, have better posture. So now close your eyes and as I mentioned, November is a Thanksgiving month here in the U United States and it's um, one of my very favorite holidays. <laughs> and I love the idea of expressing gratitude throughout the month. So today, Feel grateful for your body, for your strong, healthy body. Even if you don't feel that strong or that healthy, you still made an effort to come to your mat today. So not everyone is able to move like we just did. And if you weren't able to copy all the movements, don't judge yourself. The most important thing is that you tried. So thank yourself for doing this today. I thank you for letting me guide you and we'll do another few of these gratitude five minute things in November. And if you have any and um, yeah, sure. Thanks for coming. And um, if you have any other, any questions or anything, just reach out and I hope you enjoy your weekend.